You spoke of the absence of statesmanship. The Indian Prime Minister displayed statesmanship when he landed in Pakistan to meet former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. A week after that, there was a major terror attack in India which disrupted whatever efforts were made to try and get uh, India-Pakistan dialogue going. So when you talk about absence of statesmanship, where do you see the problem? Because at least from the perspective of the current government in Delhi, mm -hmm. the Prime Minister did try and India suffered a terror attack soon after. Okay, listen, I think it is very telling that uh, even non-state people uh, coming from uh, the other side of the border would have a very state perspective on things, as is demonstrated, uh, right? And uh, what is, look, you can say this and I can say we have evidence that the Lahore terror attack uh, has Indian states' hands all over it, which we just found out has shared with everyone. This will continue to go. We can tell you about Yadav found in Balochistan trying to instigate movement against Pakistan, killing people, right? And then you will go and ban the terrorism you know, drum all over uh, the place because it suits the state, right? Uh, eventually, look, statesmanship requires... There was, uh, uh, Guruji has just said, that India wants to... Uh, has cooperation with everyone. Do you remember the BIMSTEC project? Tell me where it is now. Right? You can't deny geography. Why has Sark not taken off? So there will be always efforts to try and deny geography. You, it will perhaps not take off. I continue to feel that at the same time, when in the two countries you have statesmen at the same time willing to build a legacy of peace and think beyond their election cycle, this can and will happen. Okay, but I am a realist enough to see that Indian fighter jets were entered Pakistani territory because an election had to be won. Okay, I'm realist enough to see that after that when cameras, international cameras were sent over there, they found nothing but trees where terrorist camps were supposed to be. So we can either choose to continue the same narrative of hostility and yes, we want peace, of course we have affinity, of course we have affiliation, of course we have tens and thousands of years of, you know, common language, culture, all of that has always been true and what have we done in the last 70 years, right? What I'm saying is, I'm not seeing a partner currently in the Prime Minister of India to take this project forward. What I'm saying is, I did see a partner in Manmohan Singh to take this forward. What I'm saying is, I did see a partner in Prime Minister Vajpayee to take this forward. Those are the realities. I can't deny realities. Prime Minister Modi may be very good for his country, may be very good for, his, for dividing the country into Hindus and anyone else. He might have done well for India. And on many other counts, he might have done. India is doing very well on many other counts. This is a count, to me, India is not doing very well. Krishna, you let, permit let, me to go to Shri Shri because he hand, has his hand up. That's a very serious charge. Correct. Because this is in response to a terror attack where India and Pakistan almost came to war and she's alleging uh, that this is in the hope of winning an election cycle. <laughs> Listen, the world knows. The entire world knows where terrorism is sprouting. Where was Osama bin Laden? Where was all these other terrorists which have been causing problem in the world? Let's not deny this fact. When you want to shake hands, you must also see that a terror is not promoted in some country. You see, that is our issue. India is all willing, our Prime Minister is, you know, in the very first uh, moment of his uh, oath-taking ceremony, he invited uh, Nawab Sharif ji from Pakistan to be part of his oath-taking. I mean, he has all willingness and he has exhibited, not once, many times, he has uh, stretched his hand first whenever Pakistan was in floods and other uh, earthquake and flood problem. It was Prime Minister Narendra Modi immediately jumped and said, we are here to help you. Let's leave behind all the past and we are here to fight only against poverty, not fight against each other. This he has said it not once but many times. So uh, these, uh, you know, allegation that the current Prime Minister is not willing to cooperate uh, doesn't make any sense. When he has stretched his hands to uh, Bangladesh, he has given some lands to Bangladesh and made such great um, MOUs were signed with Bangladesh, developmental uh, programs were done with Sri Lanka, with Nepal. I mean, India is all willing. 
I mean, it plays the role of a big brother, and as a big brother, you know, they don't go into smaller things. They want the entire South Asia to prosper. This is the dream. I know uh, Prime Minister has the dream to make this entire Southeast Asia. SAR summits are formed for this, and many projects have been put on that. So, you cannot say that Prime Minister would have done, this is not doing. I mean, this Prime Minister is really, really changed the whole scenario. I agree. Not just in the world, uh, in India, but in the whole world. I agree.